Good afternoon, fellow finance professionals, business owners, and managers. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Heather McDougall, and I'm here to emphasize the critical importance of accurate and timely bank account reconciliations in ensuring any company's financial success. With over a decade of experience in banking and finance, including extensive work in governmental finance, I have witnessed firsthand the indispensable role that reconciliations play in maintaining a firm grasp on the company's fiscal standing. Timely reconciliations will ensure managers and stockholders have a firm account of the financial health of a company and confidence to move forward with plans and changes as they arise. Let's talk about the importance of timeliness and internal controls. At its core, bank account reconciliation aligns a company internal financial records with its bank statement over a specified period. This timely process is vital as it ensures transparency and accuracy in financial reporting, safeguards against errors and overspending, and provides a crucial mechanism for detecting and preventing fraud when internal controls are put into place. Note that this only works when more than one account is working through the process of account reconciliations. By implementing dual control, the company ensures that the generally accepted accounting principles, or GAAP, are being followed and the company is protected against fraudulent acts and errors more likely to be identified and rectified to produce an accurate final product. Imagine a company's financial records failing to match its bank statement. This discrepancy could lead to significant financial mismanagement, jeopardizing the company's stability and growth prospects, Hence, timely reconciliations are not just beneficial, benefit, they are imperative for sound financial management. When starting out, determining the method by which the company complies and stores da data will be imperative. Some, could excel, some use Excel spreadsheets, others paper ledgers. Often businesses operate in our digital, digital age will have some form of accounting software which can streamline the reconciliation process. Regardless of the method chosen, patience and attention to detail are paramount in the understanding of the process your business uses to start the process off in the right direction. Let's get into the weeds a little. Two primary data sets are required to conduct a reconciliation effectively. The bank statement detailing the beginning and ending balances along with the monthly transactions and the company's accounting records, which track all incoming and outgoing transactions. It's crucial to note that these records may not match due to factors like accounts receivable, accounts payable, and transactions in transit. This means that during the reconciliation process, discrepancies such as outstanding checks, deposits and transits, and bank errors must be addressed to achieve a zero balance. Finally, when the two documents are compared side by side and matching balances until they are all accounted for either in the current period, carried over from the prior period, or in transit from future periods, the accounts have been properly reconciled. With a zero balance remaining, this signifies that all transactions have been accurately recorded and accounted for, instilling confidence in the company's financial standing and accurate reporting can then be compiled. Thank you for your attention today. Please prioritize timely reconciliations and together, let's look forward to a future where all those zeros at the end of the month signify financial stability and success.